Assalamu alaikum and let's start solving uh, question number 2 part A from exercise 13 C given that O is the center of each of the following circles find the value of each of the unknown so uh, it is related to the property number 2 we know that in the semicircle it is a 90 degree right angle so um, with this triangle we know 40 degree we know the other angle which is 90 degree and we can find out uh, a angle angle a by subtracting from 180 degree so 180 a angle a is equals to 180 minus 90 minus 40 and you will get the answer angle a 50 degree so let's uh, talk about uh, uh, part B, question number 2 part B. It is an example of an isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal in length. So these two angles will also be equal. Again, it is very easy for uh, part B. You can find out the angle B by subtracting 180 degree minus 90 degree divided by equals to 45 degree. Now let's talk about C. What is C? C again by the property we know that it is 90 degree and it is an equilateral triangle so all the angles of an equilateral triangle um, are uh, each of the angle uh, is 60 degrees 60 60 60 and you will get uh, one uh, you will get 60 degree uh, by dividing 180 degree uh, with 3 so if this is 60 degree and uh, and we also know that that these are the radii of the circle so this triangle is an isosceles triangle so if uh, uh, we could find out this angle so this uh, the both angles will be same so we know that this angle is 90 degree okay subtract 60 degree from 90 degree to get the answer 30 degree so c will be equal to 30 degree i hope you are following my explanation please let me know if you have any problem now let's solve part d what is part d again we know that this is 90 degree these all sides are 90 degree so we can find out this angle by subtracting 30 from the 90 degree so you will get 60 degree again this is the center and we know that these are the radii of the circle so this triangle is an again isosceles triangle so angle d will be equal to 60 degree so this is all from question number two let's move on to question Question number three, find the value of each of the unknown. Again, if you just pay attention to part A, these are all radii. Okay, these are all radii. So, these, uh, this triangle is an again isosceles triangle. So, X will also be equal to 50 degree. Now part B, this is related to the property that the angles from each segment are equal. Okay, if you consider this part B, you will get angle Y, this is 100 degree. So the angle at the circumference by this segment will also be equal. So if this is 68, this angle will also be 68. And you can apply the sum of the angles of the triangle 180 to this triangle to find out the angle of y so how can you find out the angle y angle y is equals to 180 minus 100 minus 68 and you will get the answer y is equals to 12 okay so these are very easy question no need to solve it is just you need to understand and uh, understand the logic and you should be able to relate the question with the property that we have discussed okay now let's talk about question number four what is question number four it is angle tpq is 100 degree and angle psq angle psq what is this it is this angle p 
S Q is 20 degree given to us. Again, it is related to the property number 3 that the angles from each segments are equal. If you consider the segment P Q, if you consider the segment P Q, you can understand that this and these two angles will be same. What I meant in question number 4, if you consider the segment PQ, so angle PTQ, angle PTQ is equals to angle PSQ, which is 20 degree. P S Q. So angle P T Q is equal to 20 degree. So if we know this angle 20 degree and if we know this 100 degree. So what is required angle? Angle P Q T. P Q T. Again just apply simply the sum of the angles of triangle and subtract these two angles 20 degree and 100 from 180 degree to find out the answer of angle PQT which is 60 degree. So angle PQT is equals to 180 minus 20 minus 100. So it is easy. 120 and you will get the answer 60 degrees. So angle PQT is equals to 60 degrees. Now let's talk about question number 5. In the figure A, B, C, D are points on the circle such that A, D produced... Um, meets BC produced at X. Given that CDX is 65 degree, find uh, angle ABC. So this angle is unknown. So if you remember and read ADC because ADX is a straight line. So you just subtract 65 out of 180 degree to find out the angle ADC and apply the property number 4 which says the angle in the opposite segments are supplementary and you will be able to find out the answer. Now for question number question number 5 angle ADC angle ADC angle ADC is equals to 180 degree minus 65 you will get 115 degree angle ADC and apply the property number 4 and find out the value of angle ABC that is angles in the opposite segments are supplementary so so angle abc is equals to 180 minus angle adc 180 minus 115 degree and angle abc is equals to 65 degree 